in this next example, I'll go to setup. And I will change my top lift height to 10 meters. Press OK. Make a simple wall of six bays. So basically, I'm just going to type in six bays. And I'll make them. 0.13 meters in length. Then I'm going to go into the fast edit option. That's under called the edit plan. That changes the cursor into a square. This gives me a number of shortcut commands. For example, delete bay, or I can add a bay and just point in the direction of the bay. We also have the option of going to Properties, Truss. Enter the height for the truss. In this case, I'm going to enter 2.5 and press Enter there. And it's added a ladder beam truss to our scaffold. I can now create a section marker based on a face view to represent and show us the side view of this elevation. It's prompting for the first bay and then the last bay. Of course, when we view this in 3D by typing DV or clicking on the views, we can see it's still just a flat object. As part of good habit, we save this as demonstration two. And we build this to 3D. So now I can generate the section by clicking on the insert section plan drawing in the plot toolbar and that section was automatically generated as AA. As you can see I've got some sort of ladder beam there. This can also be automatically scaled on your drawing sheet in the same way. So I click over to the A4 or paper size drawing sheet whatever I like and click on the same thing this time scale 1 to 100 in this particular metric example. These ladder beams are also counted in the material list. So when I click on the material list, we can see that our two trusses are actually on the material list. If we view this in 3D, we might desire, decide to put our own trusses in. So we might decide, well, let's have a look at what this component is. Right, they are some trusses. So I may decide to manually remove these. and add our own. So we have a new feature which will allow us to insert and we have some predefined blocks. If we browse to the iSCAF 6 folder, and we go to the bonus folder, parts bonus, depending on whether you're metric and imperial, we can actually add, a, add in our own ladder beams. So we might decide, well, in this case, 
we would like a 5.7 meter ladder beam in that position. So we click OK and we can insert that ladder beam into position. Let's do that again. Insert, block, browse, go to the folder and select our ladder beam. So we can snap that into position and we can actually put one on the other side as well. Remember I'm just showing this as an example, it may not be something you would do, this may not be a real drawing, but we can now view this. We can view this from the front. And we can decide to just maybe move it into a better position. Because we are editing the 3D drawing, we can pretty much do whatever we like. So we may want to remove these boards by clicking on the Erase button, which I could have clicked here as well. And click on the Move option. And basically, perhaps select these two ladder beams. and move them over a little bit. So now our ladder beams are in position. Now, after we've drawn this in 3D, again, we can look down on our 3D drawing. And when we originally created the section markers, it automatically created the section when we built 3D. Now that we've already built 3D, we can actually just click on the create section and we can create section on the fly. So we just select create section. We want another face section, click OK, and we just window around that length of scaffold. Then we can just click anywhere and build our section. And as you can see now, it's built the section with our new ladder beams. And remember, this is now available in our paper space. So we can choose to erase our original section and then insert our new section. What's really important here is that you have the flexibility of adding any components you like based on the insert command. Another example would be on your section drawing that you've already drawn, you can actually go use the insert command, insert block, again browse, insert any other component, any other type of ladder beam for example, click OK, click OK again, and snap a ladder beam into position anywhere you want. Now remember, it's inserted in 3D. So as you can see there, it's lying flat the other way. We have a great option on the toolbar, which is a new command called Flip X. Simply click on Flip X, click on the ladder beam or any object that you've inserted in 3D, and it's flipped it over. And just like any object now, you can move this around and position that anywhere you like.